There's an online magazine and uh, media outlet called International Living, and they state that the cost of living in the US is almost 180% higher than in the Philippines. They also report that you can live in the Philippines comfortably on a budget of between 800 and 1200 USD per month, and that includes rent, food, electric, gas, internet, and even some entertainment. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a few tips how you can live a bit cheaper uh, in the Philippines. Let's get into the video. So the first thing um, you need to think about, <clears throat> number one, is accommodation. Now, if you're thinking to uh, buy a house in the Philippines, a foreigner can buy the house, but you would have to lease the land because foreigners are not allowed to own land in the Philippines. It's still cheaper to buy a house uh, rather than rent one, uh, you know, over a period of years. Um, but if you're looking to rent a house, then depending on where you are, you can rent a house for between 25 and 35,000 pesos uh, per month. Now, I say depending on where you are, because if you go to somewhere like Cebu uh, or Manila, then it'll be more expensive. If you go to um, some of the outlying provinces, like where we are, for example, in Albay, you will find accommodation um, a lot cheaper. Uh, there's a good website you can look at, uh, La Moody. Um, I'll put the, um, the, the website URL um, on the screen. Um, but I'll quickly show you um, what it looks like and how uh, the prices are. Um, you, you'll find there's a lot um, of choices there. They have fully furnished, they have unfurnished. And you can see the prices there that, um, you know, you can get very, very cheap accommodation. I remember when I was in the States, um, I lived in Houston in Texas uh, for two years back in 2003, 2004. And even then, I was paying, I think it was $750 uh, per month for a one-bedroom uh, apartment. So I don't know what it is now. It's probably close to 1200 Actually, I just did a quick check, and it is it's just over $1,200 per month. So, you know, that's more than double what you would pay in the Philippines. Um, yeah almost three times uh, what you would pay in the Philippines. So, have a look at the website if you're interested. If you're, if you're retired, then, um, you know, renting uh, would be a good option. Uh, my wife is uh, Filipina and we have a son, so there's three of us. And then we own our house and the lot. Um, so the house and lot obviously has to be, uh, well, the lot has to be in my wife's name. Uh, the deeds. Your second biggest expense is probably going to be food. So a couple of things there. Um, we actually grow our own vegetables uh, up on the roof and we have okra, cucumber, we have chilies, uh, we have um, lemongrass, onions, tomatoes. You know, if you're re retired, you will have some time on your hands why not um, grow some of your own vegetables? The other thing is, if you can't be bothered with all that, um, another, another good option is go to the market. You know, instead of going to a supermarket, go to the market, you'll get a, a better selection. Um, it'll be fresh, cheap. Um, you know, you can also get um, your meat there, chicken and everything. Loads of... Uh Lots of bad boy here, lots of pork. Um, that's what we do, we do um, fish. Um, and, and it's much better to go to the market um, if you can't be bothered growing your own vegetables. So when it comes to accommodation, the one thing I would say is, if you're on a budget, go into the provinces um, instead of you know, living in the big city. Um, you'll get it much cheaper. You'll get uh, more bang for your buck. Um, we, our budget 
is on this sort of higher end, 1200 uh, US per month. But that's because our son goes to school and we pay, um, I think it's about 200 US a month um, for his school fees. And that's our biggest expense. Now, I want to share another one with you. Um, if you're uh, new to this channel, um, in the past I've been talking about how I save 6,000 pesos per month um, with solar panels. If you're going to buy a house, you'll be able to put solar panels in. Now, obviously you've got an initial investment there, um, which was about, I think it was about 6,000 US. But we save 6,000 pesos uh, per month. Um, and, and there's no brownouts. So I would really, really recommend if you're buying a house to install solar panels. Uh, the battery will last for 10 years and the solar panels are good for probably 20 years. And it's a brilliant investment. You will not regret it. Um, another way you could uh, live a bit cheaper, if you want to have transport um, and you're on your own, uh, you know, you don't have any um, kids or anything like that, think about a motorbike um, you can buy. Um, we've got, we bought a small Yamaha uh, 125 um, for 70,000 pesos and we've had it now for more than three years. Brilliant. Um, you don't need to buy a car. Cars can be expensive. Uh, even second-hand cars in the Philippines. Um, now, we're going to buy one, uh, but it's only because there's three of us now, obviously, uh, our son. Um, but we'll still use the bike, uh, you know, when, maybe when he's at school. So it's worth thinking about, um, you know, motorbikes are cheap in the Philippines. Um, I, I was shocked um, the first time uh, when, we bought, when we bought one, how cheap it was. And, you know, the petrol lasts forever. <laughs> I can't remember how much we put in it. It's like six or 700 pesos, and it lasts forever, you know. So that's another way to, um, to save uh, some money. Of course, the other thing um, you could do, uh, you could build your own house. If you have a Filipino wife um, or girlfriend um, and you want to um, to buy the lot, you could build your own. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than um, buying one that's already there or getting someone to build one uh, like we did. We, we had a, well, we didn't actually get someone to build it. They had a plan for the development. And I mean, there was nothing there. It was off plot uh, when we first bought it. But, you know, it was in accordance with the plans. Um, but you could, you could buy your own lot um, and build your own house from scratch. And I know for a fact um, it is a lot cheaper than uh, buying one through a developer or one that's already there. So that's a few tips. Um, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. Um, it means a lot. And if you like this content, uh, please, please uh, press the like button because it helps to push the video out uh, to other people. So I think that just about wraps it up for today, guys. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.